Welcome to this week's issue of Play Print 21, the weekly TV news bulletin brought to you by print21.com.au. Thanks for all your compliments, by the way, on this uh, news service that we provide every week. We're getting, you know, I know that lots of you out there like it, enjoy it, and get your weekly news fix. Uh, for more in-depth details, of course, go to print21.com.au. News this week is uh, led by well, There's a lot of stories, of course, in the printing industry, as always. Uh, Next Printing, which is uh, one of the uh, wide format printers in Sydney, uh, 35 staff, uh, wide, big wide format printer, award winning. Um, it is now into labels. Uh, the company was at a label expo last week in Brussels. Uh, Ronio Scenario was there, Tom Tijuana, uh, and they have invested now in a HP Indigo 6900 and a Digicon Light converting unit uh, to enter a brand new market. Uh, Ronio says it's an exciting new chapter, tells me it's an exciting new chapter for the company. Uh, it sees opportunity there, of course. Digital labels, everything's trending in that direction for short runs. Uh, with uh, the trend for multiple SKUs from brands, the rapid surging rise in, uh, in the craft breweries and the boutique food, uh, food producers. Uh, and so Ronio and to Tom to join in there, uh, good, luck to the, uh, good luck to your new venture. Uh, next, of course, has a track record in moving to new areas. It was originally a photo lab 30 years ago. Then 15 years ago, it made the switch into not a switch, added wide format. Still got the photo lab. Wide format now the biggest part of its business. And now it's moving into labels. Great example of a company thinking outside the box. Uh, we're here today. Print 21 is outside one of the local schools here. Uh, the reason we're outside of school is because a new study has been released in Europe, the e-read report, uh, which, which basically says that uh, the rush, the headlong rush into digital learning, in other words, kids reading from screens and tablets rather than off paper, uh, was, is having adverse and will have adverse uh, impacts on their educational abilities. Uh, study is no small study, this is a four-year study of 170,000 students over 19 countries. Uh, and it's basically saying that uh, print is the way to go. Uh, the PVCA here, Andrew McCauley, is calling on the federal and state governments to take this seriously and to prioritise print over paper. So get behind him, uh, write to your local MPs and make that known. Let's hope that uh, print can see off the digital threat there. Um, also in the news this week are the corporates. Uh, OSE is becoming, uh, is rebranding and Neopost is rebranding. OSE is becoming Canon Production Printing and uh, Neopost is becoming Quadient uh, to highlight its uh, connection on focus. OSE of course was bought by Canon a decade ago for a billion dollars, 1.1 billion Australian dollars, uh, and then got subsumed into Canon. Two years ago it became OSE Oceana and now it's been rebranded as Canon Production Printing. Um, finally this week, uh, well, Almost finally, congratulations to News Corp. Townsville uh, won the News Media Works printer of the newspaper printer of the year. Uh, no Fairfax uh, sites in that uh, nomination, the top three nominations, possibly indicative of their digital first strategy. Um, and um, also, finally this week, sad story of a Chinese refugee exploited by a Melbourne print company, uh, which hasn't been paying his wages, or anybody's in fact, uh, went broke, went into liquidation. Uh, read the full story there on print21.com.au. That's it for this week's news. My name is Wayne Robinson, signing off for another week.